Well, hello everyone! As you probably already know from reading the title of this video, I'm doing another one of these kind of reviews. But this time, it's not on something actually good. Okay, so there was once this French animated series made by, you know, the people that go on Shen the Beach, and the Moose, Shen the Beach, and the Moose, Shen the Beach, and the Moose, or something like that. And it was titled Jungle Show. Basically, it was about a bunch of animals characterized as stereotypes that would sing songs of various music genres, depending on what they're associated with, and get into all kinds of trouble. Now, that may sound like a decent enough concept on paper, but how it was executed really did not make it sound as promising. The songs are just as cheesy as Chief Synthesizer demos from the 1980s or 90s, which is probably roughly the case considering this show was made in 1996. And the singing in most of them is just so fucking obnoxious and hard to understand that it makes grinding a nail on a chalkboard sound like ASMR. Like, just take a listen to these. Yeah, all that really makes stuff like these sound like the voices of heaven. The lip syncing doesn't even match up with the songs most of the time, but you may say that, Oh, it's just English stuff with the songs that don't match up with the lip syncing because the original language is French, dummy. Oh yeah? Well, not even in the original French versions does the lip syncing match up very well. Fucking thing sucks! Another big problem that I have with the show is that the editing is terrible! Like, it really is. It's it's some of the worst editing I've ever seen in a production, that it was one of the first things I found wrong when watching episodes of the series. But wait, you may say that I'm just being way too harsh on it, but once you see these examples of it's all over the place editing, you'll probably be saying something different. patches of wrongness here in the west with feather wrongitude sweeping in from the east the world is crazy more like the goddamn editing is crazy i mean did the guy who the production crew hired had any previous experience in visual editing because it literally makes videos edited with any version of windows movie maker look like final cut pro as for the characters a lot of them only get one shot roles for saying a song in an episode and are more or less just cardboard cutouts of what stereotypes are supposed to be based off of. And considering the songs can be really hard to understand, even in English, you can't learn much about who the characters really are by what they sing about. Not gonna lie though, the only good characters are the Elvis Elephant and the Camel. <laughs> only a few of them could be considered major or main characters of the show, but it's still hard to determine who's supposed to be the most focused on to be the protagonists. First, there's this hippo named Henrietta who has a crush on the Elvis impersonator and has a rivalry with a slutty cat. Then there's this hyena punk rock bitch and a vulture cowboy named Nina and Vinx who are at least identified as the main antagonists, but don't have that much dimension. Then there's this jaguar named Kenny who is something of a spitting image of Michael Jackson and a wolf named Lou who I... I have no idea what he's supposed to be based off of other than the fact that he's meant to be a uh, edgy triard with girly high heel boots. And then... There's this fucking pussy. <laughs> Basically, she's named Jessica, who is the same cat I mentioned when I brought up Henrietta. Meant to be a sexy lounge singer stereotype, most likely based on the bitch from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. She serves as the main thing that gives all the other characters an erection and gets to wear all the clothing to, hopefully not, turn you on. They even chose her to play the role of a supposed MILF. She also seems to be paired with the Lou character, but other than that, to being a sex symbol, she has little to no unique personality or dimension. 
nice. I'm a very cute pussycat. Well, you know what else you are? You're a stupid fucking slut, that's what. When it comes to the animation, it, it looks okay sometimes, but due to the half-assed editing, it really doesn't look that good, nor does it really make up for it. Especially since it also relies way too much on improvising by either cheaply reversing frames or using previous clips over and over again. And considering the episodes are only five minutes long, surely they could have been able to make enough animation to fill the time limit. Not to mention that some of the characters' designs in it can be clearly inconsistent between episodes. And, uh, actually, one other thing I would like to bring up is how dirty this show is as well. Of course, there's the Jessica character, but just take a listen to this. Could you fucking believe that? I mean, granted I know that censorship laws can be different in other countries, but considering this was apparently a kid's show, and if they wanted to broadcast it in other countries, then at least neutralize what's appropriate to be done to. Oh, and this is supposed to be their miserable attempt at animating the moonwalk. Yeah, that really does capture the movement of it, doesn't it? After everything that I've said that is bad about this show, you may ask, what did I at least like about it? Well, I could appreciate the character designs and how a couple of the backgrounds look, I mean, I guess they look fairly well done, but I think the most enjoyment that I got out of this show was the laughably terrible dialogue, such as this. You got a light, Big Nose? You can't smoke in here. I have some gum for you. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Okay, enough with that bullshit. Honestly, Jungle Show could have been actually decent enough if everything I said that was wrong with it was right. I mean, like I said before, I could appreciate the character designs and some of the work put into the backgrounds in the show, but the shitty songs, lackluster editing, mediocre characters, and below average inconsistent animation is what really kills it. So I'm giving it a 4 out of 10 for how clunky and rushed it is. But hey, it's still a better show than the Gretsuku. Yeah! <laughs>